Hey, what's going on? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineerandtrainingexam.com. And in this tutorial, we will review your understanding of arithmetic sequences and series. First, we will go and define the general formula for arithmetic sequences and find some specific terms. We will then turn it around and look at the terms and find the formula for the nth term of the given sequence. We will wrap this review up by looking at arithmetic series. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence where each consecutive term is derived from the previous term by addition or subtraction of a fixed number called a common difference. Now the sequence 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on. This is an example of an arithmetic sequence. The pattern is that we are always adding a fixed number of 2 to the previous term. So we're just adding 2 to the previous term. And that's our common difference. Now every sequence that has a pattern in addition isn't necessarily an arithmetic sequence. It only is if you are always adding the same number each time. So you have to be adding the same number each time for it to be an arithmetic sequence. Now the general term of any arithmetic sequence is this. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, where a sub 1 is the first term of the sequence and d is our common difference. So let's look at an example here. Let's find the first, second, and third term as well as the tenth term of the arithmetic sequence defined as a sub n 3 plus n minus 1 times 1 half. Now all we need to do is plug in the term we want and that term would be, uh, be say a term 1 would be a sub 1, term 2 would be a sub 2 and so this this value right here, this n value uh, becomes 1, 2, or 3 and also is input on this side of the equation as well. So a sub 1 is simply 3 plus 1 minus 1 times 1 half which is equal to 3. a sub 2 is equal to 3 plus 2 minus 1 times 1 half, which is equal to 7 halves. And a sub 3 is equal to 3 plus 3 minus 1 times 1 half. And that is equal to 4. Note that by the third term we can already see that the common difference is 1 half. Each term has increased by one half. So the tenth term then would be a sub ten. Now we could we can find uh, a sub four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way up to ten, or we can just jump by to ten by plugging in ten to our uh, into our sequence. So it's three plus ten minus one times one half, and that is going to be seven and a half. So now let's look at the terms of an arithmetic sequence and derive the general formula for the nth term. Say we are given the terms, uh, say we're given the terms e over 2, 0, negative e over 2, negative 3e over 2, and we're asked to find the general term for the nth term of this sequence, of this arithmetic sequence. Now the general formula again tells us a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So what we need to define uh, the general formula is a sub 1, which is the first term, which we have right here. So a sub 1 is equal to e over 2. And we also need the common difference. So looking at this sequence, we see that uh, each term is uh, decreasing by e over 2. So negative e over 2 is going to be our common difference. So d is negative e over 2. Now all we need to do now is plug this information into our general equation to determine the general formula of this arithmetic sequence, which is e over 2 plus n minus 1 
times negative e over 2. So now we just took a couple, uh, now we took some terms and we determined what the general formula of that arithmetic sequence would be. So now let's talk about arithmetic series. An arithmetic series is simply the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence. Now the general formula is s of n is equal to n over 2 times ace of 1 plus ace of n. Where ace of 1 is of course the first term as it was before and ace of n is the nth term of the sequence uh, that we're summing. So again, this, these, this is the general formula for arithmetic series right here. And once again, all it is is the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence. So let's look at an example. Say we were asked to find the sum of the following arithmetic sequence given by i from 1 to 20, point 2i plus 5. Now, now we can see that the sequence starts at 1, right here, starts at 1, and end starts, or ends at 20. So we want the sum of the first 19 terms. So using the general formula for the arithmetic sequence, we, we, uh, we note that we need to define n, we need to define ace of 1, and we need to define ace of n. So n is just going to be the number of terms. So from 1 to 20, that's 20 terms. 20, 20 terms. Now ace of 1 is the first, uh, is the first um, term in the sequence, and all we need to do is plug in 1 into our sequence right here, which would be 0 0.2 times 1 plus 5, which is going to be 5.2. And now finally, ace of n, which the end of this um, sequence ends at, t or this series ends at 20, so we want ace of 20. So ace of n is equal to ace of 20, which is equal to 0 0.2 times 20 plus 5, which is equal to 9. So now we have all the information that we need to plug into our uh, general equation to determine the arithmetic series of this sequence in this and so just plugging in those numbers, we got s of n is equal to 20 divided by 2 times 5.2 plus 9, and that is equal to 142. So what this is telling us is that the first 20, ter 20 terms of the arithmetic sequence defined by 0.2i plus 5 sum to the to 142. All right, so that's all I got today for you guys. If you guys have any questions or uh, comments or suggestions, feedback, any of that good stuff, go, go on and head on over to my site at engineerintrainingexam.com, and I'd love to hear from you and uh, help you guys along the way. All right, so take care. Bye. <laughs>